二零二二年嘅第廿二條咧，就承接住第廿一條嘅。喺嗰幅圖入面咧，我哋有血管 Y。嚟咁之前成日提大家啦，有翻好習慣啊嘛。血管 Y 咧就係我哋肝門靜脈嚟嘅。咁下面啦，三句説話，邊一個描述係形容呢個肝門靜脈係正確嘅咧？咁我哋做一擊破咯喎。第一句就講啦，肝門靜脈咧係攞嚟運送荷爾蒙嘅。呢一句説話就考翻我哋對於荷爾蒙協調或者激素協調嘅嘅性質啦。荷爾蒙或者激素啦，就係由 endocrine gland 內分泌腺咧所生產嘅。而當個荷爾蒙生產咗啦，點樣去運送到身體嘅不同部位咧？就係、是、透過血管去運送啦。所以荷爾蒙咧就會喺血入面出現啦。咁當中咧有一個字眼去提翻大家，就係、是、形容呢個內分泌系統或者呢個荷爾蒙協調嘅就係、是、得。less 啊，系冇一个特定嘅管道去传送佢嘅，咩意思咧？咁我就照样啦，以呢个胰脏啦 （pancreas） 去做一个理解啦。咁胰脏咧，佢既系一个 endocrine gland 内分泌腺，佢亦都系一个 exocrine gland 外分泌腺，咁一个内一个就系外啦。咁啊 ，endocrine gland 咧，正正就系头先我所讲嘅 duct less 啦。佢係冇一個特定管道咧，去運送呢個荷爾蒙或者激素嘅。但係 exocrine gland 咧，佢係有一條特定嘅管道咧，去運送佢嘅。咁講到嚟呢度咧，你自不然就有個概念啦。endocrine gland 就係 ductless， 就透過血液咧去運送佢嘅。咁所以啦，第一句説話係正確啦。就係當個血液運送荷爾蒙嘅時候啦。當佢去到佢嘅標靶器官，荷爾蒙就會同標靶器官個細胞表面嘅感受器結合，從而就將佢嘅作用咧施加喺呢個標靶器官上面啦。例如啦，胰臟所去產生嘅胰島素，咁就會經過血液去運送啦。而佢嘅標靶器官咧就係、是、個肝臟。咁佢就會喺個肝臟嘅細胞表面嘅感應器咧，就會結合起上嚟咯喎。相反啦，頭先我哋寫低咗未講曬嘅，就係胰臟咧，其實都係一個外分泌腺，而佢係有條管道嘅喎。呢條管道運送嘅係乜嘢咧？而運送嘅咧就係我哋喺消化嗰科學嘅胰液啦 ，pancreatic juice。咁胰液喺邊一條管道去運送㗎？自不然就係胰管啦 ，pancreatic。duct， 咁呢個就係講緊有管道同埋冇管道嘅分別啦。咁第一句就係正確咯。第二句啦，肝門靜脈係運送缺氧血嘅。嚟咁呢句啦，當然亦都正確啦。咁啊，因為啦喺個小腸入面嘅細胞啦，佢哋都會吸收氧氣去做呼吸作用嘅。咁所以啦，佢哋出咗嚟嘅血液咧，自不然就會少咗氧氣啦。有到第三句咧，就係講肛門靜脈嘅兩端咧，都係有微血管嘅網絡嘅。呢一句咧，就考翻我哋啦，有關於肛門靜脈嘅適應性特徵啦。佢係連接住小腸同埋肝臟嘅。喺第廿一條嗰幅圖咧，其實我哋都已經見得到噶啦。咁所以啦，肛門靜脈就係運送血液去肝臟。爭咗個圖啊嚇，咁啊當中啦，微血管網絡咧，其實就喺翻小腸啦，同埋呢個肝臟咧，其實都係有嘅。為咗乜嘢啊？就係、是、為咗去輔助翻物質嘅交換啦。咁所以第三句咧都係正確嘅，所以答案就係 D 咯。而呢個題目啦，竟然得兩成七嘅同學答啱咧，主要原因咧就係第一句，主要原因咧就係第一句啦。佢哋會覺得嚇，肛、啊、門靜脈點解會運荷爾蒙啊？咁佢唔係淨係喺個小腸運嘢食，去個肝臟嘅啫咩？咁大部分同學都係因為呢一個想法錯咗啦，冇錯嘅。肛门静脉系喺小肠将一啲消化咗嘅嘢食、吸收咗嘅嘢食运咗去肝脏，但系唔好忘记佢入面都系有血液噶嘛。而呢个血液，你个心脏又冇咁醒噶嘛。嗱，呢啲血咧就系小肠嘅。嗱，咁啊主要都系运嘢食嘅啫。嗱，咁我唔好搞佢啦。嗱，唔好俾啲荷尔蒙咧喺呢条血管，你个心脏冇咁叻噶嘛，系咪？只要你知道血管入面系运送血液噶嘛，咁入面运送激素荷尔蒙。
，好正常啊。Two two two question twenty two. It follows the question twenty one about the blood vessels. And this question, the focus is the blood vessel Y, which is hepatic portal vein. That's why it's so crucial for us to do the labeling first, because there must be questions ask you the concept. So, which of the following description about the blood vessel Y are correct? So let's take a look at the answer. Statement number one: the hepatic portal vein transports hormone. This statement it tells us the concept about the nature of the hormonal coordination. So where are hormones produced in the body? Hormones are produced by the endocrine gland. For example, the pancreas is a kind of endocrine gland because it can produce the hormone. For example, insulin. And then how are hormones transport to the all parts of the body? So the hormones are transport by the blood to all parts of the body. So you can see that this statement is correct because for the hepatic portal thing, it is a kind of blood vessel, and the blood vessel carries blood, transport blood. So in the blood there are hormones. So the hormones will be transported in the blood, and then they will travel along in our whole body. And then when they reach their target organ, the hormone they will bind to the receptors on the cell surface of the target organ and exert their effect. Therefore, statement number one is correct. And in this part, I would like to mention one more thing about the hormonal control. It's about the endocrine gland. When they produce the hormones, we have to recall one term. It's about the ductless. What does it mean ductless? It means that there is no a particular duct to transport the hormone to the target organ. Therefore, the hormones are transported by the blood in the blood vessels to all parts of the body. Therefore, for the endocrine gland, they are ductless, and then for the insulin produced by the pancreas, they will be transported by the blood, and then they will travel to the liver. And when the insulin reach the liver, the insulin will bind to the receptors of the cell surface of the liver and exert their effect. Meanwhile, I also would like to talk about that for the pancreas. It's not only the endocrine gland, but also the exocrine gland. And for the exocrine gland, there is a particular duct to transport the chemicals produced by the exocrine gland to the target place, to the target organ. The pancreas will secrete the pancreatic juice, and then the pancreatic juice it will be transported by the pancreatic duct. And then to the duodenum, so you can see that for the exocrine gland, there is a particular duct to transport the chemicals. And then for the second statement, the hepatic portal vein carries the oxygenated blood. It's an easy idea because the cells in the small intestine it will take up the oxygen for respiration, and the blood leaving the small intestine will be deoxygenated. And for the last statement, it's about the capillary. It has capillary network at both ends, so it recalls the adaptive feature of the hepatic portal vein. The hepatic portal vein carries blood to the liver from the small intestine, and the capillary networks are present in both small intestine and liver to facilitate the exchange of the material in the organs. Therefore, the first statement also correct. So the answer is D. There were only twenty seven percent of students got it correct. The most powerful distractor is statement number one because some of the students they misunderstood that they just think that no 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 for the blood vessel why hepatic portal vein it just carries the digested food the absorbed food from the small intestine to the liver. Therefore, there is no hormones. No no no. You think that your heart is so smart to to think about that? This blood it will go to small intestine for the food absorption. Therefore, we do not need to transport the hormones in this blood vessel. It doesn't make sense. Your heart doesn't think about it. They just pump the blood. 